Hello everybody, welcome back to the next part of uh, Let's Play Dark Souls. Um, here we are, right where we left off. If you remember, we came from that direction over there. We just opened a shortcut back to this bonfire. And uh, yeah, now we're going to go do that. Um, real quick though, um, as you can see, our armor is looking a little different. Figure, let's just mid-roll and just go big with our armor. Um, so yeah, we're using that Elite Knight set we found. I'm um, still using the Black Knight Sword. I, um, I know I said I only want to try to bust it out for when it's, uh, you know, when something serious is going down, but, you know, it's it's a really fun weapon, and I don't get a chance to use it too often, so let's just go for it. Um, if you remember, too, we added some strength, so now we can actually one-hand it. Um, it's pretty standard, you know, you just swing left and right, and the strong attack is similar, big wind-up, and then stab. So yeah, let's um, let's get to it. Uh, this next area is going to be pretty short, so depending on how quickly I get it done, we might also dabble in the next area after that. Um, I'm not even going to wait for that guy, let's just keep on going. So by this point in the game, you know, these guys are, shouldn't be too much trouble. You know, we just took an axe to the face and barely took any damage. But, you know, we should still be careful. So if we come around here and go down. Uh, this is where we came down from before, um, up here. And now we're gonna go down this way. And if I know where the name pops up, we should be in the lower undead bird. But it might have already said that. So yeah, we're just gonna have these dogs to deal with. Um, this place isn't too bad. It's just uh, when you're coming here for the first time and you don't know what's going on, it's gonna be a little tricky. So main path is down that way. Uh, we have a quick thing to pick up in this direction. If we come down here, uh, we're gonna see these guys with torches. Um, don't take, don't underestimate them because uh, even though they're the basic hollow enemies, uh, when they have the torch they can, they have this one really dangerous attack which if they catch you with, I'm gonna see if this guy wants to start it maybe. To backstab there. All right, maybe one of these guys. Hey, come here. Oh, come on, come on, do the thing, do the thing. No, no, not that thing. Okay, yeah, these guys just don't want to cooperate. All right, well. Oh, all right. Let's, let's give him one more chance to do it. Nope, not that one. All right, last chance, last chance. All right, well. Ah! Alright, well, that's our wolf ring. Giving us a lot of poise there, and as you can see, the strong attack will send them flying. So right here, we have twin humanities. Um, it's basically just, you use it, and you get two instead of one. So, um, interesting thing about these things, uh, if you notice, it's a little, a little hard to tell, but uh, this is actually a female corpse, and there's a theory that twin humanities are actually um, an unborn child, unfortunately, so very sad. Um, but, you know, it's both the mother's and the child's humanity. Um, so anyway, moving on. Uh, right here, we're gonna, we're gonna hear something special if we go up to the door. Somebody. Please, let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? So, yeah. Um, unfortunately for that guy, he stepped into the wrong neighborhood and he, uh, Someone locked him up, so let's go help him out. Uh, remember, we bought that residence key off of the undead merchant. Uh, this is one of the uses for it right here. And let's go talk to our new friend. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Alrighty. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be seeing more of him at Firelink Shrine, like he said. In the meantime, that's, uh, his buddy here didn't do as well, so let's just go take his uh, sorcerer set off of him. Um, and a catalyst as well. So sorcery is uh, you know magic, obviously, but we're, we're not messing with that just yet. Our uh, stats are more uh, night focused, I guess you could say. So let's quickly heal, and um, right here at these doors, 
Uh, you'll want to walk up to them and give them a little smack. Um, oh, let me... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so this is one of those uh, cases where the... You can actually see the guy's legs right there. Um, this is one of those cases where the hitboxes and the physics in this game can uh, be a little weird like that and let you just you know, hit somebody through a wall. But you know, if you uh, if you didn't do that and you were just walking, um, this guy they would have come out with him, and then you would have been ambushed from behind. And um, yeah, so as you can see, these guys they have knives. Watch out for this stance too, because just like the uh, Boulder Knight. Oh yeah, there we go. I just got parried. Um, thankfully, not that much damage, but still very annoying. So, yeah, uh, as you can tell from that, they'll also backstab you. These are more uh, dexterous kind of thief characters. Um, you know, the thief class that you start as is very similar to these. Um, but yeah, they're uh, they're no big deal if you can just take them out carefully. So right here we have the mailbreaker. Um, this is possibly one of the worst weapons in the game, so I don't want to talk too much about it. But basically, it's it's like this awkward in between a dagger and a short sword, and then it just doesn't do either one very well. Um, its main use case is to break through armor, but uh, that's not going to be happening too often. Okay, so here we have a more proper ambush, the dog and the three thieves. So let's see. Oop, gave him a kick there by accident. Oh, and there we go. So yeah, they can uh, they can go down real easily sometimes, but if they catch you by surprise, you're gonna obviously have a bad time. So right here we have the thief set, which uh, or black leather set rather, and the target shield. Now this is a very cool set. Um, I'll quickly show it on for you guys. It's um, I don't want to say it's the ninja set in the game because uh, there is an armor set that is straight up an actual ninja set, but this is you know the, you're more like edge lord kind of dark hood kind of set. Um, very good at some of my favorite lightweight armor in the game. So if you're in need of that, definitely come here. And that shield that we picked up is uh, an interesting one, the target shield. It uh, it actually makes it easier to parry. You get like just a few more frames to catch the attack. Oh, hello. Hi, doggy. Let's just quickly knock him out. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're already at the boss. So pretty short area. Um, now, before I fight the boss, let's go ahead and go down this way. And here we're going to see another hollow thief, which you might be tempted to run at, but take out this guy first. Otherwise, you're going to get a, a back full of stab. But yeah, no problem. So, um, let's proceed up here. Uh, so over there, uh, there is an item, but it's nothing too important yet. That's where we're going to go once we beat the boss. For now, let's just go up this way. And we're gonna have this uh, jerk shooting arrows at us, but we can just give him a kick, and down he goes. Uh, that didn't actually kill him, so he's gonna get back up, but we're he's not gonna chase us, so no need to worry. Instead, let's say hello to this lady. You still have your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moss? I need your soul. So yeah, very similar laugh as our buddy in the Undead Berg, the merchant, and you know, same profession. We're gonna be able to buy some things. Uh, here we can buy some mosses, which like I mentioned in the last episode, uh, this will reduce your bleed, this will reduce your poison, and um, blooming will do it all, including toxin. toxic, which um, we'll see later on. You can buy poison throwing knives, alluring skulls. Uh, dung pies are an interesting item, um, like they're just poop, but if you throw them at people, you can inflict toxin, toxin on them, but you'll also build up your own toxin. Um, you also have some more pine resins, uh, we use the gold pine resin for lightning, this is for fire and for poison, and some homeward bones and purging stones, and you can actually buy humanity off of her, so this is technically an infinite source, but it's a little pricey, so... I wouldn't recommend doing that until the end game. So I am going to pick up just um, one of these mosses, and I'm also going to stock up on homeward bones uh, while we're here. Come again if you <laughs> and uh, let's actually talk with her for a bit. Uh, oh, I don't normally see her dialogue. You are a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> this is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. 
Nothing good ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. So yeah, she's uh What a humdrum lad you are. So yeah, she's angry there because we didn't buy anything, but yes, I was gonna say she's either completely insane or a very very strong optimist and I like to think she's the latter, you know. Um this doesn't have to be all doom and gloom, but she's definitely at least a little bit crazy. So by now you might recognize where we are. Um, if not, right out here we have Firelink Shrine. Yep, that's right. This is back where we started. Um, I am going to quickly kill this rat. I recommend you always do that whenever you pass by, since rats do have a chance of dropping humanity, and you want to get as much of that as you can. So let's just uh, fight our way down here. And, you know, obviously, since we're a lot stronger, this goes a lot smoother. Just a nice little point and click to kill. So down we go. And... Oop. Now, the reason I'm actually coming down here is because, even though this is a bit of a hike, I think it's actually the shorter way to return to fight the boss in case you die. But uh, while we're here, I figured we'd check up on some of these characters. So here's Griggs, the guy we just saved. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. So yeah, he's just going to chill here for now. I don't think he has much else to say. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Yeah, so uh, we'll be seeing more of him in a bit. Um, I believe actually if we had higher intelligence, he would start selling magic to us. But uh, we'll get to that eventually. So for now, let's uh, talk to our buddy right here. Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> so yeah, he's uh, giving us a fair warning about what's to come. Um, that's the direction we're going, if you remember. One bell was upstairs, one was downstairs, and uh, we are on our way down. So let's see what else he has to say. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> so he's making fun of us right there. Um, you know, obviously, we're, uh, we're not looking too good. Um, and speaking of which, if you notice, uh, this is the character that um, we originally started as in episode one. Um, I've been using that secondary character. Um, the reason I'm this guy again right now is because the last recording got kind of messed up. Um, but you know what? Sometimes it's for the better. Um, you know, rewatching it, I wasn't even like, I wasn't too happy with how it came out. So it all works out. So let's uh, quickly sit down here. And uh, don't actually have much to do. So I think there's a few more things he'll say. So let's do that. Ooh, what? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collected bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> so, yeah, he uh, <laughs> given us some, some uh, possibly good, possibly bad advice, depending on where your moral compass lands. Um, either way, we're going to continue upwards. Um, I'm not even going to bother fighting them again. We're just going to sort of rush past them as best we can. We will have to kill this guy because he'll not let us pass. And like I said, just swing by here, kill the rat. Maybe, maybe, nope, no humanity for me. But let's uh, let's press onwards. Um, ooh, I got 666 six, six souls. That's, uh, that's ominous, <laughs> especially as I record this Halloween Eve. And, and there's a freaking full moon tonight, too, so lock up your black cats if you got them. Um, I'm sure you've, if you have a black cat, I'm sure you've heard this before, but they say don't let them outside, otherwise crazy cultists, satanists will try to kidnap them and sacrifice them or something, but anyway, we're already keeping them inside, so all will be well. And if we go down this way, uh, yeah, obviously this is where we came from, so let's... Take this guy out. 
Let's take this guy out. And let's get ready to fight the boss. Um, we do have a few more dogs to fight though on the way. And get a nice little two for one. Alrighty, so uh, this boss here. Um, we're going to definitely use our Black Knight Sword. Uh, if you remember too, I mentioned we get a bonus fighting demons versus this thing. And that's going to come in handy because if you remember, the Undead Merchant, he told us that a bull demon moved upstairs. That was the Taurus demon we fought. And downstairs is a goat demon. So let's go and say hello to the Capra demon. Now, uh, at the gate be careful because they are going to come running at you. Uh, we do have dogs, so what you want to do is run up here, get the dogs to come. Okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a very infamous boss because, uh, you know, you got three things chasing you in a very cramped location. Um, I kind of messed that up there because I did a kick and the dogs didn't come up. But, um, yeah, the strategy is to kill the dogs first and then fight the demon itself. So, um, I'm going to meet you back there because, you know, Bit of a long hike, don't want to force you guys to sit through it. So yeah, I'll meet you at the fog gate. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, let's take two this time and maybe keep our shield up. So yeah, this can be really annoying because... Ooh, right out the gate, you know, the the fog is going to miss it. Okay, so here we go, this is what we want. We want the dog to come up, and then we want to jump down this way. Try to not have him land on us. Kill the dog here. Oh yeah, as you can see, that was just a one-handed swipe and we did a lot of damage. So let's see how quickly we can do this now that it's just me and you. Alright, um, stuck there. Don't want to be stuck. Let's try to finish him off with the strong attack. There we go. Yeah, that's the power of the Black Knight sword right there. So uh, yeah, we got ourselves a key to the depths. And oh wow, it skipped over it, but nothing too special. We just got a... Uh, some uh, a homered bone and some humanity, which uh, is obviously nice. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go see what's behind that door. Now, if we go back down this way, and we head over here, we're gonna find ourselves a big locked door. Now, let's uh, quickly grab this. Just just a soul item and uh, an alleyway that we'll never know where it leads to. But right here is where we want to go. Key to the depths. Making this the depths. So very, uh, again, very even darker atmosphere. And if we, uh, if we take a peek at the key, we can actually read that it... Uh, Those banished from the undead berg eke out their existence in the depths. A damp lair with no trace of sunlight. Nearly half of the depths are from a perilous flooded labyrinth. So yeah, uh, the main takeaway is that... Um, Pretty much, you start at the Undead Parish, and then, you know, the more naughty you are, the lower and lower you get banished. And, uh, yeah, we're at the depths. Uh, we're going to see how deep this rabbit hole goes, because um, we've got quite a journey ahead of us. So, I'm just going to quickly go here, and there's a few things I want to get done. So, I'm poking into the depths here, because the way I like to do it, sort of efficiently, is that we want to grab a few small things. And then we're actually going to warp out of here and meet up back at Firelink Shrine to sort of get our bearings. And then we're going to get ready for a big trip. Um, so let's quickly just clean things up here. Uh, oh, that's the attack I was trying to get before um, when they just sort of flail at you like that. Be very careful because even if you're very armored, if you get caught with that at the beginning, like right up on them, that can do a lot of damage. So, um, yeah, we're just sort of clearing out the cafeteria here. And let's go down and kill that dog. And, okay, so right here we have a butcher. And that's their pet dog. So once the dog gets, once we kill the dog is when the butcher gets angry. <laughs> so we can't say for sure, but it's probably their pet. So uh, this uh, pretty fellow here. Um, and actually a lady. This is this is a girl, by the way. It's been uh, confirmed by the creators. But, yeah, oh yeah, we did a lot of damage. So, just take him out like that. No big deal. Uh, we're going to open this chest right here. And we're going to get ourselves a large ember. Now, this is a pretty uh, pretty interesting item. It's, uh, it's what's going to let you take uh, weapons from plus 5 to uh, plus 6. And then you can just naturally... Uh, upgrade them after that. 
But yeah, very important pro progress item right there if you're just making a standard weapon. And um, we will head back to Andre once we're out of here. But there's just a few more things I want to quickly grab. So I'm just wading through the mud here. We just want to get ourselves up here. And up there we got another butcher. So let's trigger them by going right here. Hit him with a strong attack. Oh, it didn't even stagger. Oh god. Forgot to follow up. And I got you because of it. And the second one you kill is always going to drop the uh, their hat, the sack there. Which is just a very, uh, very ugly helmet. But um, if you're going for sort of like a, I guess, scarecrow, butcher, lunatic build, <laughs> it's definitely a must have. So anyway, over here is we're gonna see one of our yes, yes, favorite yes, NPCs. Yeah, over here, please. You must help me. So yeah, he's uh, he sounds pretty desperate. So let's roll through here and not attack because that's going to be bad. Um, let's talk to him. Oh, there you are. You must help me. Or else... She'll have me for lunch. You're my only one. Oh, please. And yeah, when he says she'll have me for lunch, uh, he was talking about <laughs> the butcher that we just killed. So let's, uh, this is where I say, you know, you don't want to, you may be tempted to just smack the barrels, but, you know, then you might smack him. So just give it a roll, and then he'll be out there, no problem. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eating alive. I shudder to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Luensius. Or the great spot. I will not forget my dead to you. Alrighty, awesome. So as you can see in this hand there, he's uh he's a pyromancer. So that's a mechanic that we're gonna get into, definitely. Um not this episode, but pretty soon. Let's give him one more talk. Oh hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. So yeah, he's just, he's done he's okay. Uh, we're going to see him back at Firelink Shrine, which is where we want to go to after this. Um, and actually, we could warp back. Um, I'll mention it when we find it, but at this point, you may want to press on just a little bit and not warp out just yet to grab one more item. But we actually have some. Um, it's large Titanite shards. We got them from the Crystal Lizards because we got lucky. But just in case you didn't get them, there's one that you can grab in the depths. So I'll point it out once we find it when we return. But for now, I'm just going to head back. So let me, uh, let's see, we got a few souls here, actually. So let's go up here, and here's Laurentius. Let's see what he has to say. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely, too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Sword, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, unless you find the magic unsafe. So you you want to say no here. Every other NPC, you pretty much always say yes. This is the one time you want to say no. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A flame from the great swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. Alrighty, so we are now pyromancer. We can use pyromancy. Um, let's just actually get our hands on some pyromancies. Um, so here, he's just selling the basics. Uh, fire orb is like the big fireball. Combustion and fireball are your small basic ones. Um, we're going to pick these up because we're going to want to use them for sure. Um, these two right here, uh, flash sweat... Uh, I don't think there's many cases where you really need to use it. Um, same thing with Iron Flesh. Iron Flesh can be cool. <laughs> it makes you like super like strong and poisy, but then you just move Goodbye, really slow. Come back if you find anything new. But the other weapons are cool because they're going to let you actually like chuck fireballs and stuff. So we're going to pick those up before we head back down. And I don't think I have enough to level up. Yeah, no way. No way. So not even going to bother. But uh, yeah, our next stop is going to be going back where we came. So I'm actually going to just quickly reverse my hollowing here. Yeah, humanity restored. So uh, yeah, that's uh, gonna do it for this part. We uh, we cleared out lower undead berg, peeked into the depths, got ourselves ready. Um, we still have one more pit stop we want to make, and um, we're gonna get that get to that in the next part. Um, but for now, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. 
and I will see you guys next time. Take care.